Deputy Attorney General of Venezuela, Tarek William Saab, offered statements on the acts of conspiracy of the Venezuelan far right to lash out against the country. The Attorney General's statement reaffirmed that the opposition with its conspiratorial acts in conjunction with organized crime wants to fill the country with blood and violence. In this way, Saab also affirmed that at least six persons will be charged with responsibility for the white armband operation for crimes of trading the country, political conspiracy, classified attempted or intentional homicide against the president, Nicolas Maduro. In this sense, the Attorney General reiterated that those who plan and conspire against the peace and stability of the country will be punished with the full weight of the law. We have acted with the evidence in hand, with the elements of conviction, arrest, accused, excuse me, charged, present before the courts in the fifth plot, but in the four previous ones we already have charges, accusations, and we're going to have a definitive and firm sentence. The Attorney General of Venezuela, Tarek William Saab, emphasized that the white armband plan consisted in attacking the Venezuelan state from the border states and carrying out an assassination against the President Nicolas Maduro. The white armed band case consisted in the planning of an attack against the 21st Infantry Brigade of the Bolivarian Army, the most important facility in the state of Táchira, bordering Colombia. In order to take over the weapons on the military unit and then make an attempt against the life of the governor Freddy Bernal, and obviously from there to escalate in several states such as Barinas, Cojeres, to reach Caracas, and what has been the obsession of all these subjects to attempt against the life of President Nicolás Maduro Moros in an attempt of assassination.